Should I be baptized or not? Who's right about the subject of salvation? What is right about the subject of salvation? What must I do to be saved? According to Mark 16, verse 16, the Bible says, He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. I'd like for us to consider three things about what it takes to be saved today. Number one, salvation is by the power of God because only He can save us. According to Paul in Colossians 2 and verse 12, we are buried with Him in baptism in which you were also raised with Him through faith in the working of God who raised Him from the dead, meaning God is the one who does the saving. In 1 Peter 3.21, we are told there is also an antitype which now saves us, baptism. Not the removal of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience toward God through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Again, reminding us that salvation is by the power of God. Number two, God conditions the reception of salvation on obedience. In Hebrews 5, verses 8 and 9, the Bible tells us, Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. And having been perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all who obey him. Or according to the words of Jesus in Luke 6, verse 46, But why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things which I say? Even in Acts chapter 2, in verse 40, the people on Pentecost were told, and with many other words, he testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. Finally, number three, in the New Testament, there are five actions that lead to becoming a saved person. The first is hearing the Word of God. In Romans 10, 17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. The next is believing. In Acts 8, 37, then Philip said, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. In Acts 2, 38, we learn that repentance is necessary. Then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. There's confession, according to Romans 10 and verse 10, with a heart one believes unto righteousness, and with a mouth confession is made unto salvation. And finally, there is baptism, according to Acts 2 verse 38. Then Peter said to them, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Hey, thanks for checking out our video and thanks for your interest in the truth. We hope you have a great day and may God bless your studies.